If you ask Vancouver's new mayor what he's done in his first 100 days, you'll get a straightforward answer. A lot of the things that we wanted to get accomplished early, we've pushed through, and so that's been great. And what it's like representing the city? We're leaning in, and yeah. so we're going to every single event, which means it's seven days a week, and, it, and it's great. What about the plan to hire 100 new police officers? We leave it up to the VPD to operationalize it, mm -hmm. and they feel great about it. And working with the health providers to meet the promise of hiring 100 new nurses? The initial plan is 58 mental health workers, and they feel great about it. Dealing with the province? They've been great. Vancouver is now Sim City, and sitting down with CBC News for his first in-depth interview since becoming mayor 100 days ago, it's clear Sim City is as much about policies as it is a vibe. Consider his answer on improving the Granville Strip. It could be a great area where people, not only from Vancouver and the region, but from around the world, they come and they, you know, they enjoy Vancouver, and yeah. it, it gives a gives a buzz and uh, a positive vibe to our city. Or why he likes using the word swagger. If we create an amazing city uh, where there's a vibe and there's opportunity and there are places to live, people can afford to live, and they can actually have an amazing career. Or his answer on when the city will have turned a corner on crime and safety concerns. There's actually um, activity uh, in Chinatown mm -hmm. on a Saturday night. Now, is it where we would love it to be? Absolutely not, but there is activity. So things are changing. So we can point to stats and we will like look at the metrics and we can actually you know, uh, see what's happening, but it's really the feeling. At this point, the feelings are enough. Progress is being made on 100 new cops and nurses, and the federal and provincial governments are giving money to ABC priorities like Chinatown and affordable housing. I think the biggest uh, pleasant surprise is how many people uh, share the same goals and mm -hmm. dreams, and it transcends political parties, socioeconomics, and uh, the working relationships that we've had um, you know, with the provincial and federal governments and other stakeholders, it's been great. Of course, Vancouver isn't great for many. It is so often a tale of two cities, something the mayor acknowledged. There are two very different realities for people who live in the city, and it's becoming more and more polarized. Oh yeah, no, I, there, and that's, that, that is a, a very big challenge. Like there are, you know, there's a lot of disparity in our yeah. city, and that's not the city that I want to live in. Um, but what I, I feel is, you know, the feeling before mm -hmm. was, you know, our city was becoming more and more divided. And what I'm feeling now is our city is coming more and more together. It's Sim's feeling on day 100. His challenge will be seeing the transformation he wants, so it stays that way on day 1000. Justin McElroy, CBC News, Vancouver.